What's up guys, it's your boy Anthony Arendelle bringing you a quick fix. So guys, I'm sure many of you have uh, has this Yumi DG Z2 Pro and um, you reset the phone and you greet it to this uh, screen where you can put in your code and no matter how many times you put the code in, it just won't boot. Let's, let me show what I mean. One, two, three, five. That's my code. Nothing. It's just gonna say check in and then wrong code. One, two, three, five. Nothing. No matter what you do, this is what you're gonna uh, be confront. Uh, no matter what you do, this is what you're gonna come up against. So I'm gonna show you guys how to fix this. And unfortunately, the only way to fix this is to get this on recovery mode. So let's do that, shall we? First of all, turn the phone off. Let's turn the phone off. Okay, you do like this. Power, power and volume. One, two, three, four five six seven eight let go the power and keep holding in this one one two three there you go and then you have the android that's the easier way i find to do it just like how i did it right there now and this is the tricky part man i see a lot of people getting this part wrong but this is really easy look in order to get into the recovery please pay attention it's very easy all you have to do is just hold in this button the power and click the volume up once that's all look I'm gonna hold in power, click, and I'm in recovery. See that? And once you're in recovery, what you wanna do is you wanna go to a factory reset. You can pretty much control it with the volumes and then verify with the power. So let's see, we're gonna go to wipe data factory reset. I click on, okay, it's gonna tell me here, are you sure? Of course, I'm sure. And then you do yes. And that's pretty much it. You leave the phone, do whatever it needs to do. And by this case, I mean like let it reset whatever it needs to reset. And see, it's, it's done right away. So pretty much you can just click on boot system right now. And it's just gonna reboot the system. And this time, it'll take you to the whole process of installing Android once again, which is quite a shame. And I think it's the stupidest bug you can have on a telephone. I hope Yumi DG fixes this quick because I mean, it is a very nice telephone. I was extremely happy with it until that happened. Of course, I'm still happy with it. I'm not gonna judge it just by that because the review is about everything, the whole phone, and not just the stupid software mistake that they made. But anyhow, with all that being said, guys, this is how you get the telephone to work. All you gotta do is just wait, and it'll take you to the Google setup, uh, like I said earlier. And um, yeah, if you're having issues with your telephone as well, then maybe this is something that would help you out. Again. Please do not forget step two when you see the dead Android to just hold this button down and click up once. Do not hold it in because if you hold it in, then you're going to be wondering, like, hey, wait a minute, why is, why is it not going into recovery? Well, you know why. So there. And now all we got to do is just wait a little longer. And there you go. Now we have uh, once again the telephone booting, you know, looking crispy as hell. And uh, I hope this helps you guys out. Um, if anything, just let me know and the review will be coming soon uh, by Sunday. So thank you guys once again and I hope this helps you out.